Greetings fellow humans, this is Melinda the Good here. Welcome to a bird story. I've had so many requests for me to play this game because I played Finding Paradise and apparently I should have played this game first. But better now than ever. So here it is, a bird story. Oh, that's a little different. We have Colin on the balcony. He's so cute. Well, there wasn't even another building on the other side. Poor Colin. That's really pretty. Where's Rudog? Oh, so we are now in Colin's dreamland. I don't understand. Something to do with time? I saw a shadow walk past. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Colin is the main protagonist in Finding Paradise. But apparently I missed out a lot on the characters and all of that because I haven't played a bird story. So hopefully... This will fill in some of the gaps. Oh, giant paper airplane. There's a bird on our head! The tiny little shadow bird. Okay, I'm not too sure why everyone's walking backwards. And why there are so many clocks everywhere. And what it means when this happens. Oh, there's a me over there. Is that school? Church? I get the feeling that this game isn't going to explain a lot of the things, it's just going to be up to us to figure out what it's trying to tell us. After all, this is Colin's dream, so it'll be up to us for interpretation. Hmm. 
He's clearly paying attention in class. Aw, he dreams about being outside. <gasps> what an asshole kid! What is that? The square root of 1764 is a kitty? Oh no, we're in trouble. What a jerk! No! We got kicked out of class! Aww, poor Colin. Why was that kid so mean to us? What did we do ever do to him? Colin was like this really kind of quiet kid. I don't see him ever doing something like this. Well, we can't go back there. I guess we're just gonna wander the halls. That place looks kind of dark and scary. Oh! We keep getting yelled at. Oh, here we go, the tree lockers again. So we know that Colin has a really strong imagination. So he could do things like this, where he blends one place with another. There we go, there's our next transfer jump point at the school playground. Uh, there doesn't seem like much we can do here. But poor Colin, he's all alone, sitting by himself on the teeter-totter. transfer point right over here. This doesn't look like the school anymore. This is... a hiking trail? We know that Colin likes being in the woods a lot. So I guess this will make sense. This is one five two. Is that his apartment? Oh, it might be. There are mailboxes here, and then the elevator. Oh, Aww, he can't reach it. He's got to jump. It's okay, Colin. I know what it's like being short. not a people person at all. Alright, I guess this is our stop. Which one's ours? Is it this one? No? This is not here either. Are those mice? I'm guessing it's the one that we could see into. Why do the lights keep flickering? That's so... unsettling.
another day back from school and a letter from our parents, I guess, from the fridge. Home alone again. Poor Colin. This is our parents' bedroom. Something with the lamp? Oh, we could turn it on. I remember we liked jumping on the bed here. Just another light switch. Oh, no one's around? Yeah! We like jumping on the bed. But at least take off your shoes! Okay, well, that was productive. I believe this is our room. What was that, hunger? Is he hungry? Go grab something in the fridge. Anything in here? Poor Colin, no one to talk to, no one to play with. Home alone. It's just him and the TV. But he seems okay. Okay, now we gotta study. This is like your typical school kid day. Come home, eat a snack, maybe watch something and relax. Then hit the books. <laughs> and of course a break from studying with his paper airplane. Oh, and that's where he trips. Aw, poor Colin. It's okay. I feel so bad for him. He basically had to take care of himself and raise himself. It's almost bedtime and his parents still aren't back yet. Oh, it's getting late. Aww. At that point, you know you're just scribbling nonsense. Like, whatever you're writing no longer becomes words. And I'm spe speaking from personal experience. What was that? Oh no, you fell asleep at your desk! <laughs> oh, someone draped like a blanket over him! A glowing blanket? Did his parents come home at night at all? Oh, was that what was on their bed? You know what I have to say? Colin is like more responsible than me in my adult life. Another note. Oh, gotta grab your backpack. Of course. See, Colin, Colin has it down. Colin has his life together. Not like me, running out of the house without my bag. Is there anything out here? Nope. Guess not. 
Look at Colin, he's so sleepy. He's not a morning person. Also, like me. Oh, book. Sorry, Colin, I'm not a... Uh, not... Very good at this. Aww. He wants to fly away. But that's not your homework. Colin, hope you finished your homework. Ooh, do we have to grab a lunch? Ooh, a little muffin cupcake. Guess that's our lunch. Alright, now I think we should be able to head out. It's going to rain. We need the umbrella. Such a responsible kid. Colin, grab the umbrella. What are you doing? Ooh! Well, that was quick. Back to school again. Is our teacher still mad at us? We're gonna learn more about cat math! Aw, poor Colin. Does not want to learn about cat math. Oh no, we got caught napping! This is the worst! Child abuse! You can't do that! She literally kicked us out of the classroom. Let me just double check there's nothing on this end of the hallway. Even though it was dark and scary. Can we go here? No. Alright. Cool. Just wanted to check. Seriously, what is our problem? Why does she hate us so much? It's not our fault that she teaches cat math poorly. Were the kids always still like this? Oh, it is raining. Look at that. Should have brought your umbrella. Oh. He enjoys the rain. One thing we do not have in common. Aww. Yay, the rain! Puddles! To this puddle here. Yeah, there we go. That's satisfying. So Colin dreams a lot about sleeping. Because this is all still his dream, right? This like we didn't wake up. He was in bed. Oh, a white mushroom over there. Can we grab that? Oh damn, that's creepy. Can we continue ahead? Nope. Oh, it's a little bird. Go away, badger. Shoo. Badgers are actually really scary. Colin's a brave kid. You know, in Finding Paradise, they did mention a story about a bird. I wonder if this is it. Its wing looks broken. Poor little guy. Will you be my friend? I'll take care of you. Oh, it doesn't trust us. Oh, you need help. You're gonna get eaten if you're stuck on the ground like this. 
You're injured. Oh no, can we can we offer it some of our I don't know muffin? See, it's being chased by the badger again. Oh, look, it's that's a ah, that's so cute. Oh, I decided to hide in the backpack. Pretty friend, where are you? Oh. Why is my backpack making bird noises? Oh, because there's a little bird peeking out of it. Oh, that is so cute. That's how we meet our first friend. I have a sudden realization. In the beginning, when he was... Yeah, okay, creepy tree, you be creepy. In the beginning, when he was looking... You be you. Okay, now all the trees are moving. I read Lord of the Rings. I know this is not a good sign. But in the beginning of the the game, he was looking in his little tree shrub by his balcony. I think he was looking for his little bird friend, who you know obviously flew away. Hello? No one's answering. But, but. We need help! We got an injured bird here! <laughs> you can see the little bird peeking out of the backpack. It's so cute! Okay, so the vet isn't open. What are we going to do now? Guess we're gonna bring it back home? We'll nurse it back to health. We got you, little bird. <laughs> 